Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to share a technique that I use to move data between Microsoft SQL Server and any other files such as CSV file, Excel file, or different database systems. All right, so this technique will only apply to Windows users as you will need to have Microsoft Access application. And from my previous video, I show you how to create a SQL Server connection in Access. And you'll need to first create a connection to uh, link to your database. All right, so the technique is very, very easy. And here I have a, a video category table in my SQL Server and below is the, uh, the records. I'm going to empty out the uh, video category table. Now I can see that uh, my records are now all deleted in my video category table. And here, let me close this. All right, so here I have a link table to the uh, video category table. Now if I double click on the table, I can see that all the records now got removed. And here's my Excel spreadsheet. And I'll be using Excel spreadsheet to, uh, for this demonstration. For my video category table, I'm only interested in uh, the ID column, the title column, and the assignable column. I'm going to move column C to column B to match the, the column uh, position. Now I'm going to highlight the uh, data that I want to copy to SQL Server. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select the columns that I want to paste the data and use the shortcut Control V to paste the record set. Now if I go back to my SQL Server database, if I run the select statement, and here uh, in my video category table, all the data is now moved to uh, my SQL Server database. And I like this technique is because uh, by default, if you want to uh, move data around, uh, you will have to either uh, use the, let's, let's see, you have to use the import data wizard. I don't find this wizard to be very, very uh, useful in some cases, especially when you're dealing with CSV file, text file, even newer version of assets database. And for the main reason, uh, when the wizard is trying to identify the data type, there are many scenarios that the data types or the character limits were incorrect or, or fail limit. So that's why I prefer to use uh, these techniques to move data around. If I want to move an Excel file to a SQL Server, then uh, using Access Database as an uh, ETL application is pretty, pretty handy. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. Just a very simple technique that I found to be very useful in my daily workflow if I want to move data around between SQL Server and other platforms.